All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. Today, we are bartenders. The new event is officially released in full of Drink a Dreamin'. And this is an event that I almost feel like MiHoYo decided to kind of evolve one of the mini games that they did during Windbloom Festival. So at the time of me streaming this now, my Windbloom content is uploaded on YouTube. And they actually had a little mini game event over here with Margaret, who is the owner of the Cat's Tail Bar here, which is where Diona works. And we actually did a pick by pick like step-by-step -step process of creating a non-alcoholic beverage for the people of Mondstadt during the Windbloom Festival. And they were just like, okay, so we gave Cat's Tail the basic bitch version. So a year later, we're gonna give D. Luke and the freaking Angel Share Tavern the actual event. So I, I almost feel like that's what they did. They were like, hey, remember that one thing that we did that one time? Let's do it, but better. Apparently you get a furnishing, uh, a tavern shaker. That's really cool. That reminds me, like D Diona has one of those. Actually, you know what? We're gonna play a little bit of a collusion over here, all right? We're gonna infiltrate the enemy's base of operations okay we're gonna destroy the fucking wine industry one character at a time okay we're going in there with diona actually screw you aether i'm sorry i love you still anyways we get a name card for it which is always a treat always something worth going for binge vessel so we get a bunch of other rewards as well before we jump into that we got some housekeeping we have two birthdays now shenha's birthday was five days ago and today is actually gene's second birthday in genshin so very exciting overall longevity do you have any customs that you follow on your birthday in the past my master knew that I didn't need material possessions, so she would only send me a blessing on the day. Thus, I only recently learned of the custom of eating longevity noodles on one's birthday. However, longevity in of itself is not something I want to pursue. Rather, I would like to spend that longevity with the people I have formed a bond with. I asked my master who excels in cooking. Yo! Hey, at least we know she cooks if uh, Cloud Retainer ever becomes a playable character. I asked my master who excels in cooking for advice on how to prepare it well but she wanted me to figure it out for myself i don't know how much i've figured out i guess that will be for you to judge i'll be waiting let's go heartstring noodles that's so sweet damn she's out here just eating freaking noodles on her birthday no birthday cake sheesh and then a productive day Early this morning, I was chased out of my office by my fellow knights. They told me I could go wherever I wanted as long as it didn't involve work. Although I do understand they mean well, it does seem a bit excessive to instruct the knights guarding the door at my office to prevent me from entering right in front of me. So I went to Windrise, then I went up the road to Star Snatch Cliff. It's been a long time since I've been out patrolling in person. I found some potential hazards on the outskirts of Mondstadt and I'll need to gather a group to develop further plans. I enclosed some flowers picked along the way and materials collected after defeating monsters. I hope they'll help you on your journey. Now that I think about it, it, it has actually been a rather productive day. Yo, she just, she bodied a ruin guard? What the fuck? Holy shit. Go for a spa. Go out on the town with Lisa. Go have a drink. Oh my gosh. She's out here fighting field tillers on her day off. My God. Before we jump into the event, we are now going to tackle the weekly bosses. So let's go do that next. All right. So last week was without a doubt, probably the worst session for enemy drops that I've ever experienced in Genshin post version 1.5, where they added dream solvent. So I really hope we can turn this around. Everybody stand, shine down, torn to oblivion. Ooh. Just one shot to fall in. <laughs> what a fucking queen, dude. Holy shit. I didn't even need Sing Cho right there. All right, here we go. Let's go. Give me something good. Let's fucking go, dude. Dream solvent. Already a better week. Objectively a better week than last week. <laughs> so and Terry's black in the chat. Devalin got Urobashi. That's fucked up. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right, here we go. Let me leave you. Team for this trip. Now you shall perish. <laughs> All right, Raiden Shogun needs to be stopped. <laughs> We're two for two on one shots right now. What the fuck is happening? She's a god killer, man. Aw, oh, man, no good drops this time around. Let's go to child next. <laughs> you guys know what's coming, right? <laughs> Paimon, respectfully shut your mouth. 
Okay, just be quiet. Witness the power. Everybody stand. Illusion shattered. Torn to oblivion. Ah, I got him halfway. All right, you know what? That's fine. He's basically dead either way. That's still pretty impressive. 50% of his health gone in one hit. I don't know if he has resistance to Electro in that phase, so I'll give him a pass, okay? Give me something good. Shit. Okay, not too bad. We have Cryo and Hydro, and that's good because I'm running Raiden. Shine down. Get him. Shines eternal. Dude, these, these ults are insane she's critting for like 250 plus on all of these hits that one was like i think 275 such a fucking queen dude i love her i hate ajdaha though holy fuck what a shit boss all right rosalind i've had enough of your shit okay get her damn it didn't one shot unfortunate you know what that's how you do it. I was like, you know what? I want the queen to finish things off just like it was last time. Please give me some good drops. <sighs> I've had enough. I'm done. Here we go. I'm not one-shotting this boss, so I'm not even going to try. All right, get him. There you go. Don't let me down, miHoYo. You let me down, Mihoyo. Unfortunate. All right, so with the disappointment of bosses officially out of the way, we're gonna initiate Operation. I don't know. What do we What do we call this operation? Um, we need a real snazzy name for this. <laughs> operation Drink the Pain Away. Wine Slayer. Hmm. Operation. We might have a problem. <laughs> Luca. Oh, who is this? Hello. Oh, is it voice acted? <laughs> Hello there. So. What? You must be the renowned traveler. Oh, I I didn't know it would be voice acted. Uh, that's me. Hey, don't forget about the equally renowned Paimon. <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> of course. Well, it just so happens that our tavern, Angel Share, is hosting a Bartender's Academy Week. I'm hoping the event might interest you. Basically, you'll have full access to all of our ingredients to mix cocktails or any other drink you please. Get Diona here ASAP! As long as you refrain from being wasteful, you can enjoy unlimited refills for the drinks you create. <laughs> Uh, Venti, where you at, my boy? Also, you'll be rewarded handsomely if the guests are happy with your drinks. I'm so excited. What? There's even rewards? I love how Nimrod just walks by. He's like, mm, unlimited refills, you say? That's like so perfectly timed. He's the alcoholic in the whole city. He's the one with the actual drinking problem. So it's kind of like weird <laughs> that he walked by. Where do we sign up? It's called an academy, but attendance is certainly not mandatory. And you don't have to make your decision right away. You're more than welcome to give it a try first. I really appreciate that they voice acted this. I really thought it was going to be like a voice act list, like, hey, just read some text and then do the event. It might not be the most important, but I definitely appreciate them going the extra mile to do this. So, what do you think? Will you give the Academy a try? And some people will actually take this seriously and pay more attention because it's voice acted. I like that other people will be playing this and be more engaged because of that too. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Great, then please come on in. First, Charles will uh, walk you through some basic techniques. Who would have thought we're gonna be Charles's protege? Ah, oh, this is so cool, man. I would have preferred D-Luke, but beggars can't be choosers. Hey, I know you two. So what can I get for you today? Hey we came to be bartenders today bartenders oh so luca roped you two in did he he's got quite a knack for that you're certainly talented at handling difficult tasks there's no doubt about that mm -hmm. but mixing cocktails is a whole different game it's delicate work and requires a certain amount of finesse everything from the ratios of your ingredients to your mixing techniques could affect the final product don't worry he's a fantastic cook Cooking and cocktail making have a lot in common, you know. All right. I'll take your word for it. Oh, and one more thing. No, I don't know, Paimon. Maybe you shouldn't be speaking for me. In a previous event, we had a student who arbitrarily mixed three kinds of hard liquor. Just one glass was enough to leave a customer passed out on the floor. Is this Keith? Wait, no way! Oh my god! I just realized that's the same voice actor! What do you mean I only just realized it? How often do we hear Charles talking? They sound so different. 
So in light of that incident, we decided to no longer provide alcoholic ingredients to beginners. Oh my god. I hope you'll understand. Yeah, that's fine. I just want my chalky milk. That just about covers all I have to say. You'll learn all the skills and techniques you need on the fly. Oh my god. Mixing drinks. <laughs> If you want to mix some drinks, you'll first need a good foundation. Each basic drink formula will contain three ingredients, including flavoring. If the customer has any special requests, just add more to the ingredients that bring out the flavor they want. Follow the hints and click in the right order to mix the drink properly. Once it is properly mixed, you may proceed to the next step. According to the cup size required by the drink, click when the needle moves to the corresponding area to pour out the right side. Oh, dude, can I like overflow it? <laughs> Like, I just spill the drink all over the table. Oh my God, I'm stressed. Okay, coffee, tea, juice, milk, cocoa paste, caramel, fizzy water, lemon, and mint. Oh, no, no! Wait, no! How do I? Okay, no, I gotta, I gotta undo this. I gotta, I gotta undo this. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, I know you too. Okay, dude, so really? Do today? we really have to go through all this again? I all fucked right. up. In a previous I fucked up. Have... It says cancel mixing in the top right, so that's what I saw and I did it. So yeah, my bad. Let's just have three slots of coffee. Hello okay, again. let's see. Recipes. Moonlit Alley. Mix cocoa paste evenly into coffee and milk, akin to stepping into a dark, narrow, and mysterious alley, only to have an unexpected meeting with sweet temptation. Oh my god. Oh my god, and there's flavor- there's literal flavor text for all of the flavors. Oh, and the progress for the name card. Two recipes out of 21. All right, so three shots of coffee. So one, two, three. All right, let's see. Down, left, left. Okay, okay, I see you. Wait, what size? I assume that's a small cup. All right, there we go. Let's go! Did I do good? Mm, you're a quick learner. Let's go. This tastes pretty good. We're gamers. Hyman agrees. This is amazing. I like this event so much. That was just practice, though. On the job, Customers often will have special requests for their drinks. Some may enjoy a stiffer drink, while others might prefer something more sour. Everyone has their own preferences. True. Adjusting the amounts of the ingredients is always the key. Any actual bartenders watching this YouTube video or in chat, sound off right now. Like, this must be so awesome for people who are actual bartenders who play Genshin Impact. It's so niche, and it would only hit a very small subset of people who are in that category, but I'm like living for those people right now. This must be so freaking cool. Hyma would like a caramel pine cone, extra sweet, and the biggest glass you have. Please and thank you. Damn, Paimon. She did not waste any time on those free refills, dude. Well, that's about all there is to it. <laughs> but to become a truly exceptional bartender, in addition to mixing skills, You'll also need to master conversing with your customers. That is true. That's how you get those tips. All right. You got to be a great conversationalist. Uh, I love chatting with people. If you have questions or need any help, just give me a holler. Wait. Where's <laughs> caramel pine cone? Yeah, shut up. All right. You stop right there. We're not going to be having this, okay? It's my first day on the job. Oh, wow. Diona can't freaking can't bust in on this joint. They literally just made it so I can only play as Aether right now. That's kind of funny. All right. This is it. Open for business. Time to ruin D Luke's reputation and bankrupt him in one shift. Oh, the characters are all here. Oh, my God. D Luke, Rosaria, and Kaya. RIP to Rosaria's OG outfit. I mean, some people might like this. She's got more of like a dominatrix vibe for her, but I'm always going to be a fan of the original outfit for Rosaria for obvious reasons. Hey, what's going on, D-Luke? Let me sit right here, okay? Oh, it's Master D-Luke. What brings you here? Do you have nothing to do today? Bro, I'm sweating bullets right now. I'm about to make a drink for the owner. <laughs> me? Nothing to do? <laughs> Don't count on it. Damn. I heard you two were working as bartenders, so I thought I'd drop by to see how you're coming ah, along. Ah, so good. Dude, when's the last time we saw D-Luke, man? It's been so long. Wow, you really do catch wind of things quickly. So, tell me, how do you like being a bartender? Actually, we just started. Yeah, it's still a little too early to tell. We haven't been at it for very long. Just tell me your initial feelings. Excited, confused, anything. How does it feel to be a bartender? It's a new experience. I see. Hey, didn't you want to ask Paimon too? <laughs> no, but thanks for asking. Paimon's initial feeling is 
Drinks taste good. Yeah, you know why? Because everything tastes good when it's free. <laughs> good. I'm happy for you. Aw, what's wrong? Now, could you make me a Grey Valley Sunset then? I'll leave the size up to you. <laughs> Isn't that just all juice? Aw, <laughs> oh, d Luke. So wholesome. Take your time. I mean, he doesn't like alcohol. Makes sense. So that one's the all juice one, right? It's uh, this one right here. Yeah. It's literally just three shots of freshly made juice. Aw, d Luke. You're so wholesome, man. All right. I got you, fam. One, two, three. Down, down, up. Oh, this is such a good freaking. This is so cozy. Order up. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hell yeah. It's all about the ingredients. If the fruit are fresh and juicy, then the drink will naturally be sweet and tasty without adding anything extra. There you go. Sounds like I should thank the soil of Mondstadt. Oh, shoot. Let me explain. Dude, he's going to give us some Sojiro freaking level lore on the processes. It just so happens that Grey Valley Sunset <sighs> is the first drink I ever mixed. Aw, that's so sweet. I guess technically that's our first drink, too. With the exception of Charles's little demonstration. We're just like D-Loop. This is so wholesome. I was still quite young. My father laid out several ingredients and told me to experiment with them. Oh my god. D. Luke fucking lore. Master Crepus out here. No requirements and no instruction. In hindsight, he probably just wanted to test my creativity. In the end, I just made a glass of fruit punch. <laughs> Much like this one. Yeah, that's okay. Oh? But why fruit punch? My father was equally surprised. I didn't really put much thought into it. I just figured that it would taste sweet. Was this before he joined the Knights? This must have been when he was even younger than Cavalry Captain. Looking back on it, I was so young and naive. Ah, I wouldn't be so sure. Oh? I'm sure your father thought it was a good drink. I never thought about it, I suppose. Ah. My father didn't say a word at the time. You know why? Because he was overwhelmed with emotion. He was like, this is so wholesome. I can't find the words. He was at a loss for words, okay? But thank you. Aww. By the way, there's something I'd like to give you, but I suppose it's better to wait oh? until you have more experience with your bartender job. I have no doubt that you'll do very well. Aww, thanks, Master D. Luke. And Paimon will, uh, uh, be running for you. <laughs> very well. Then I look forward to seeing your good work. Hmm. See you around. Come back soon when you have a minute. Oh my God, that was so nice. Bro, I'm so excited for all the characters that are going to come through here, if that's what we're going to get. Like, little character moments. God, that's so good. Okay, Rosaria, walk with me, talk with me. Well, well, this is a surprise. I didn't expect to see you two behind the counter today. Uh, Rosaria, you're looking oddly different these days. Like, what? In that case, I'd like a death afternoon. I wanted to save Kaya for last. Leave it to Kaya to make oh. things difficult right from the start. Okay, that was a little weird. <laughs> I was like, what? Come now. I just wanted to see how he'd react. I admit I didn't expect to see you here today, Sister Rosaria. With so many demanding customers that frequent the tavern, I only thought I'd help the traveler gain some experience. There he goes with that smooth talk again. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I was only trying to be helpful. If anything, you should be thanking me. Uh. Now, how about we start with something simple, like a moonlit alley, for instance. Oh, and make it a large, please. I'll leave my drink up to you. Just make it a tea of some kind and not too big. <laughs> please. Take your time. Waiting in anticipation is half the fun. <laughs> yeah. Watching me squirm, I get it. Okay. Uh, give me a single large moonlit alley. Okay, this is like the chocolate coffee drink. All right, so that's coffee, chocolate, and milk. He wants his chalky milk right now, damn it. I'll leave my drink to you, just tea, not too big. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go with tea and two things of milk. And uh, she doesn't want it too big, so that's kind of like medium. Hopefully she likes it. Mm. Hmm. Do you like it? What is it, Rosaria? You don't like the drink? I can make you another one. No, the drink you made me is fine. Oh, it's okay. just that I rarely ever drink tea. Woo! The taste always reminds me of certain things. Of home? Of uh, unrelenting vengeance and bloodlust for the people who did you dirty? I feel you. 
Ah, I presume you're referring to the church? Or that. <laughs> yes. Never mind. The church once <laughs> held an event that I couldn't attend, but Sister Barbara still saved some tea and dessert for me. Aw, wholesome Barbara. The dessert had already gone stale, so she whisked it away when I wasn't looking. But the tea tasted just like this drink you made me. Boy, you're in rare form today, Rosaria. Hell yeah. Sounds to me like Mondstadt's just gained another black tea lover. But that's milk tea. It's not black at all. <laughs> I'd prefer something a little stiffer. What about you, Kaya? How's your drink? That depends. If I point out a few flaws, will you make me another one? But there were no flaws. I gave you the exact drink the way you wanted it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's exactly what I thought. I'd never subject you to such treatment. Exactly. You're not a Karen. I appreciate you. You're a Kaya. Gosh, Kaya sure is a tough nut to crack. You never know what I'll say next. <laughs> How can you stand a drink with this guy, Rosaria? <laughs> Hmm? I don't really care what's going through his mind as long as we only talk about drinks. Oh, damn. Besides, Kaya's only interested in people or things that intrigue him. Whether that's you, the innkeeper here, or anybody else. I just remembered! Whatever happened to that party that was had at the Goth Hotel and Kaya, like, rented out all of the freaking restaurants and all the food? This is the first time we're seeing Kaya since then. I, I wonder what happened with that. Hey... How could you divulge so much about your dear old drinking buddy, hmm? You think I'm saying too much? <laughs> Get over yourself. It's no big deal. I fucking love these two. Does anyone ship these two yet? I'm constantly surrounded by uptight folks day to day. I prefer the easygoing atmosphere in the tavern. Oh, are we gossiping about people who take themselves too seriously now? <laughs> Speaking of which, I know someone who could easily place in the top three most serious people in oh. Mondstadt. Uh-oh, is Jean? Is it Jean? Is that one of them? As to their level of seriousness? Well, let me put it this way. They probably wouldn't even flinch if I said that to their face. Oh, I, I don't know who he's talking about then. Are there really rankings for people like that? Of course. Just off the top of my head, there's a running list for the most consistent drinkers, oh. hardest workers, mm -hmm. worst cooks, or even <laughs> biggest hoarders of dark secrets. Uh, what was that last one? Sounds to Paimon like Mondstatters have way too much time on their hands. Yeah, that's true. Are there really that many people who don't need to work? I think I know who he's talking about. <laughs> but what about Paimon? Is there a category that Paimon can be ranked as high as him? Most sus. Yeah, I'll go with that. Most sus for Paimon. Why, of course. How about... Ah, best bartenders. Really? Kaya, you're, you're joking, right? That's great! Our names will be remembered together forever! What the fuck? I'm doing all the work! What do you mean, we? <laughs> well, I must admit, the atmosphere you bring isn't half bad. You can say that again. Just looking at these two brings a smile to my face. <laughs> Don't butter me up, sir, okay? I hope you're not gonna betray me in the future. Good bartenders create a nice atmosphere and get people in a good mood. You know, like a mascot. So I guess there's really no contest for the title of best bartenders. I mean, Paimon is the mascot of this game, so I guess. Huh? Huh? <laughs> He's literally talking to her. He's like, huh? What? <laughs> that reaction was so good. <laughs> Nothing. Thanks for your hospitality. Yeah, I should be going too. See ya. By the way, that black tea tasted great. I'll try to make some for myself in the future. Hell yeah. If I can manage to get up early enough in the morning, that is. Until next time. Please, come again. Ah, oh, this is so cozy. I love this shit. This is one of the coolest events they could have ever thought of. Oh, oh, we got more people. Okay, so these are just regular passerbys. All right, get ready for the next shift. We got more people coming through. We're open for business. Let's go. Another familiar face has arrived at the tavern. Who do we got this time? Oh, Jean! Zhang Li! In Mondstadt! Oh my god! Zhang Li's here! Zhang Li? In Mondstadt, dude! He's, yo, wait, Venti, your boy! Where is he? Ah, traveler. Good to see you. I trust you are well. I thought this was only Mondstadt characters. Also, can you afford drinks? Do you got money on you? <laughs> Oh, this is so good. If I am to roam about the world, 
then I certainly mustn't limit my destinations. True! The free and prosperous mm. land of wind is as splendid a place to visit as any. And it's quite a pleasant surprise to run into you here. Can I get you a drink? One misty garden, please. Oh. I take my tea strong, thank you. Interesting. One misty garden. All right, let's see. How do how do we make that? Okay, so it's just three shots of tea. Sweet, mellow tea of high quality. The tea itself is red as the sunsets glow, full of the essence of the tea leaves. Its lingering aroma makes for an object of great affection. All right, three shots of tea coming right up, Mr. Zhang Li. And that rhymed. So do we give this to him in like a... Okay, I guess I'll give it to him in a tiny glass. Doesn't look like the drink they ordered. Mm, just give this one to Paimon and try making another. Wait, what? Did I use the wrong size? Oh, he wanted it strong. Okay. Okay, so it's supposed to be... How much can you go? You can go to five? What the fuck? Is this strong? Is this too strong? Is this fucking max power? Is this more strong than I can possibly imagine? <laughs> All right, Mr. Zhongli, your ass is about to get freaking... Punched in the face with this drink. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, damn. Is that because I messed up the first time? Hmm. <laughs> the tea is clear and uh, glows with a pleasing hue. Of course, he's gonna. Its richness is complemented by a floral and fruity fragrance. <laughs> Exquisite. I love this so much. This is classic Zhongli, man. Maximum Osmanthus wine lore. Wow. So Zhongli is even super knowledgeable about tea. He knows everything. Paimon usually just gulps down the tea and says something simple like, Mmm, yummy, yummy in Paimon's tummy. Mindfully savoring the tea shows due respect to the person that brewed it for you. Hell yeah. Tea of good quality is hard to come by. And those capable of brewing tea according to the occasion <laughs> and emotions, even more so. I feel like we're in the freaking Liwei Archon quest right now, dude. <laughs> I'm flattered. Oh, Paimon gets it now. So, could you teach Paimon how to savor tea like you do? It seems you smell it first and drink it, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta get those aromas going. You gotta waff it a bit. That's correct. Every type of tea is unique. The more you drink, the more you will understand the subtle differences. Smelling the aroma will reveal the quality of the tea. Lower grade teas emit a musty and seemingly scorched. Zhongli, this is so. Whereas ones with a delicate yet soothing aroma are usually of a higher quality. This is so good, man. Zhongli's just flexing his knowledge on us right now. Fucking the Sojiro of tea over here. If you want to be more particular, according to Liwa ancient tradition, you could acquire a vintage goblet, Ooh. which is used specifically for examining the aroma. That's cool. <laughs> Not to worry. Knowledge is vast. It's never too late to learn. Hey, there you go. It's never too late to learn. You heard it here first. As a beginner, you can try this method. First, observe the color. Then, smell the fragrance. And finally, take a sip. Remember, you can understand anything as long as you approach it in the proper order. I learned a lot today. Chowing Village in Northwest Liu is famous for their tea industry. Ooh. It would be well worthwhile the visit when you get the chance. Hell yeah, dude. What I shared with you today are mostly my own habits as an old-fashioned Liu local. Each region has its own tea traditions and culture. One should always respect the conventions of the local region. Paimon gets it. Uh, but whether Paimon can remember it all is another story. Classic Paimon. <laughs> Thank you for such excellent tea. This is remarkable. It made my trip out here all the more worthwhile. This literally makes the event worthwhile. I can't believe they brought Zhang Li for this. This man was already in Moon Chase at the end, Lantern Right, and he's in a Mondstadt event. Like, my God. If you ever come to manage a tea house, I will certainly be a regular. Also, the name of the village, I don't think I've been there. Is that a part of Liyue that we haven't explored yet or that we haven't been to? Well, we're pretty busy i don't think we'll have time to manage a side hustle at a tea house regardless you have my complete support let's call it a day <laughs> i won't take more of your time damn all the best with your new pursuit <laughs> wait the bill <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no this man's about to walk out without paying oh no ah yes <laughs> the bill. Uh, 
just put it on Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's tab. Oh my As god. Usual. As usual. This man's running up the bill for them. Hu Tao's gonna be pissed. Of course. Take care. Give our regards to the director. Sheesh, dude. Even now, man still doesn't have money. That was such a treat, man. That was such a treat, dude. Oh my God, and we have Lisa and Jean? I can't handle Hello this. Again. This is too good. Hi there, cutie. It's good to see you. <laughs> it is certainly unusual for us to meet in a place like this, but as Lisa said, I'm glad to see you. God, she, her outfit is, I actually prefer her redone outfit over the original. I just really like the black and the, the different trim. Hey, what do you mean by a place like this? The tavern is a wonderful place to relax and unwind a little. God, Lisa, I miss you. Do you have any idea how hard it was for me to drag the acting grandmaster away from her desk? Today's literally her birthday at the time of this recording. It is Jean's birthday and Lisa's taking her out for drinks and they literally said you know how hard it is to drag her out of her office and in her birthday letter it said that she was shoved out of her office by the knights it all adds up it's so good we've only been here for a few minutes and worry is already written all over her face <laughs> <sighs> lisa yeah this is the acting grandmaster we're talking about it's only natural that she has a lot on her plate. True. Yo, Varka, when the fuck are you coming back, my guy? It's been a year in game already at this point, it feels like. Uh, why don't you let him mix a couple of drinks for you two? It'll make you feel a lot better. Think of it as a way to unwind. Honestly, Jean is the only person I know who needs to be taught how to relax. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> hey, cutie, whip me up a love poem. Medium, extra sweet. Extra sweet. Okay, so we got to add extra sweet in her. And how about you, Jean? What are you in the mood for? Hmm, what is Jean in favor of? I, I, I think she'd be coffee. I only say coffee because like, I think of like Weiss from Ruby and like Weiss liked coffee while Blake liked tea. I'll just have coffee. Let's Medium, please. fucking go, dude. I fucking called that shit. Master Jean, you drink coffee all the time. Wouldn't you like to try something else? Thanks, but no. I want something to help keep me awake. Oh my god. So I can get back to work. Thanks. Coming right up. Okay, so what's a love poem? Caramel adds a certain unique flavor to milk tea. Even someone with the heart of stone would smile if they were to taste this drink's sweetness. Okay, so I gotta add extra caramel to that. Okay, so we got milk caramel tea and i'll add extra caramel medium okay so she wants a medium cup all right done time for the next one coffee make it medium please so three servings of coffee that's it nothing else i love this event i love this event so much i like how it's dark too like dark coffee mm, the sweetness is just right mm, very good hell yeah dude Mmm, the coffee is strong and rich with just a nice hint of bitterness to it. I'm glad you both enjoy the drinks. Actually, I do understand what you meant, Lisa. Hmm? Oh? I've been reflecting on my weaknesses lately. There's still room for me to improve in many areas, such as my productivity and management. <laughs> What's that look on Paimon's face? Like, she's like, come on, man, enjoy yourself. I'm concerned my stress may even be starting to somehow affect you as well. I think you still don't quite understand. What? <laughs> See? Cutie knows. It's your birthday, okay? D enjoy your day. You were working yourself way too hard, so I thought I'd take you out for some drinks. All I wanted was for you to have some fun. Yeah, look at that, a girl's night out. But even in the tavern, you're still thinking about work. That's what's most concerning. Let your hair down. If you're constantly under stress like this, it's only a matter of time before you burn out. Exactly. Oh. That's facts, you dude. You also agree with Lisa, Traveler? That's actual facts. Hmm. So, is learning to relax actually my biggest challenge? To quote a saying in Liyue, everything has a balance. Damn, Zhongli. We learn more than we thought. Yep. Work hard, play hard, and rest even harder. The two of you may need even more rest than you'd expect. That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> All right. I... I understand. Thank you. All of you. Now I know that this place serves refreshments for both the body and the mind. Is that why you and Kaya like the tavern so much? Oh, damn. Yes and no. It really depends on who's making the drinks. Wait a minute. 
You tell me Lisa came here because she heard that I was running the bar? Are you saying there's a chance? Speaking of which, we couldn't have changed Jean's mind without you today. You sure have a way with words, cutie. Hey, I'm glad I could help. <laughs> then we'll see you later. I'll consider coming here to relax if I have another opportunity. Yo, she really came here to see the boys. Sounds great. Take care, you two. Nice. Okay, so who else would come through here? So I'm expecting Venti, right? Like, Venti's like the freaking... He's the Archon of the region. He loves his dandelion wine, even though this is kind of more of, like, non-alcohol. I expect Eula because she was in the tavern during her trailer, like, with the, the sneeze heard around the world. Maybe Amber? So far, they've showed two of the characters with their reworked designs. They showed Rosaria and they showed Jean. So I would expect maybe Amber just because of that. But uh, let's see. Round three, some familiar faces. Who do we got? Oh my god! Beto's here! Yo! Dude, I didn't- I, Okay, so Zhang Li was one thing. I did not know that it was just straight up Liyue characters in general. Also, I really wish that, uh... Well, Shenha is here! Shenha's birthday was a couple days ago, too. We just read her birthday letter. I'm surprised Amber's not here with Eula. I thought they'd be here together, actually. Oh my fucking god. This is- I'm like overwhelmed right now. Like, who do I talk to? Okay, you know what? We gotta go with the bay. We gotta go with Beto. Let's do it. Ahoy, traveler. Great timing. Join us for a round? Sheesh, dude. All of these freaking beautiful women. I'm on my freaking work shift, okay? I'm getting a little too distracted here. You got Beto, Shenha, Eula, Ningguang. My god. Traveler. What a pleasant surprise. Of course these two would be here after fucking lantern rights. Now we all know why. That that compensation, am I right? Wait, did you two come together? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one alone. Well, this lady decided on a whim that she wanted a little vacation, so we ended up traveling around the area. Oh damn. But I guess we have different ideas of vacation. We hardly hiked the mountains before we came here to put our feet up. Talk about spoiled. Oh my god, their dynamic. Their dynamic is so good. <laughs> Come now. No need to hurt anyone's feelings. Besides, I specifically chose this place because I knew how much you like to drink. But our captain here has seen a lot more of the world, so... She's not exactly thrilled with this little tavern. Uh, it'll do. Anyway, this one's on me, okay? Beto's paying? Uh, does that include us? Hey, you love to see it. We're the bartenders, Paimon. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Guess that's just a habit now. And what will I get for the two lovely ladies? I'll have a small birch sap on the sour side. Okay. So I guess lemon for that one? Uh, I will have a large dusk, please. Thanks. I'll figure out what the hell that is, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> oh, man, what the heck? They're on, like, their freaking honeymoon or something? They went freaking hiking. They did all, like, they're like, ah, oh, she wants this, and I give it to her, and it's not enough. She's spoiled. What? I'm taking you on this tavern, but you don't like it? She's like, hey, I'm paying for the bill, okay? They just have a bit of, like, chaotic opposition there i really like it okay uh small birch sap on the sour side okay so there's lemon okay so juice with extra lemon a few squeezes of lemon juice go into the fruit juice before it is mixed well this helps to take the edge off of the sweetness and also titillate the taste buds the ideal pre-mail drink indeed all right so two juice and we're gonna go all extra on the lemon what a wholesome event man okay i don't know what the fuck a dusk is oh okay so this is like a is this a mixed drink okay fruit tea mixed accordingly to precise ratio hold this ratio the tea's aroma is light and elegant, while the fruit's fragrance is gentle, making for a drink that can be enjoyed hot or cold, each with their own unique charm. One tea, two juice. Okay, it's a large boy. Okay, we'll go large. Large for Beto. Hmm. Oh. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Well, how is it? The silence is making Paimon nervous. Hmm. <clears throat> The bittersweet taste of nostalgia. Oh, I had to like hold my breath there. You mean the taste of going from rags to riches? <laughs> what kind of taste is that? <laughs> oh my god. All right, that's a little too per. That's a little. That's literally like a little too close to home. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's mainly sour with just a tinge of sweetness Damn. and a lingering aftertaste. That was savage as fuck. Interesting. Does it taste like starting a little business then discovering that selling fruit isn't very lucrative? You still are having like a little cat fight right here. No need to get into the details. Let's leave the past in the past. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought that the dignified Tianjuan was once a fruit vendor on the street? Hey! She did what she had to do, okay? She's a freaking girl boss now. Show some respect. On the other hand, I bet few can tell that I'm from an ordinary fishing village, right? Oh, really? I haven't done her hangout yet. I'm planning on doing her hangout before 2.5 is over. I don't know if she talks about that in her hangout, but that's kind of cool. A fishing village? Not necessarily. If you ask me... I'd say that Captain Beto has eyes that can pierce the sea. Mm. You're an adventure-seeking pioneer who tames the wind and the waves, which is clearly indicative of someone who grew up by the sea. So they have psychoanalyzing her girlfriend. Goddamn. Hey, you're not mocking me, are you? Ah, okay, you two, kiss and make up. It's all good. Come now. It wouldn't do any good to be sarcastic. I know how fierce you can be with words. It's my treat today, so remember to take it easy on me. All right, then I'd like to have a few more. What the heck? Damn, round two? All right, yo, we're here to serve another drink for the lovely lady? <laughs> Ooh, I like where this is going. I'll have another round two. Sheesh. Refills. Mmm. Mondstadt's fresh fruit juice is hard to top. I wish I could enjoy some every day. You could probably afford to. <laughs> Are you serious? Don't tell me you're going to open a Sunsetia trade route now. <laughs> well, maybe I will. All right, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> An interesting proposition. Wait, uh-huh. What? Really? Oh, my God. She's like, hey, you should have kept your mouth shut. I'm just joking, of course. There's already a whole industry established for that. They don't need me muscling my way into their business. Thanks for the drinks today. If you'd ever like a cushy job, I'd enjoy having you as my personal bartender. Oh my god, dude. I can make a freaking... I can make a come-up working under the Tianchuan. You're also welcome aboard the Alcor. Whoa! The crew loves to drink. Ladies! You can feast with us. I promise you'd have a blast. Ladies, there's plenty to go around, okay? My, my. Captain Beto, are you competing with me for talent? <laughs> That's hardly necessary. These two are so you extra. Simply stop by the Jade Chamber whenever you want the traveler to mix you a drink. I'm so popular. Oh my god. Uh, is it Paimon? Or does it sound like they think you work for them? <laughs> when I have a chance. <laughs> I'll visit you both, I promise. There you go. I'll go with that one. Oh my god. Those two, man. It's uh, an endless battle with them two. Outwitting, outsmarting, one-upping each other. I don't know who's the dom in that relationship, but maybe they both are. I, I have no fucking clue, but it definitely shows. So I'll, I'll tell you that. I'm going to save Eula for last, actually. Shenha! How did you find this place, by the way? Hello. Hi. Hi there! be more surprised to see you if we hadn't already seen a bunch of our friends. I'm still excited to see her. What the hell? That's rude. Huh? Wait, you're Shenha. <laughs> this is a surprise. Damn, Paimon, that's disrespectful. This place isn't easy to find. Angels share. <sighs> the name doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Mr. Zhongli was kind enough to help me with directions. Aww. Oh, I'm thankful. Zhongli, you're too good for this world, man. You needed help with directions? Wait, you came all this way just for a drink? That's right. Wow. God, I love her eyes so much. I miss her so much, man. Because oh. we're friends. Oh my God. Don't do that to me. What'll you have? Boreal watch. <laughs> Is Eula hmm. sleeping? Boreal? <laughs> As in a cold climate. Boreal watch here probably is referring to the wolf of the north. So, yeah, you could say it's cold. Caramel pine cone. How could that be a drink? Oh, Paimon's tried that one. It's actually caramel flavored coffee. Pine cone just refers to the color. I thought she actually wanted like a caramel, like a freaking candy apple, but it's like a candy pine cone. <laughs> huh? These names are confusing. I can't make sense of any of these. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you. As long as it's something that tastes like Qingxin or violet grass. You know you don't have to eat like a goat, right? Uh, those medicinal herbs don't 
grow around here. If you want something bitter, then it has to be coffee. Fine. That's a good idea. You've practiced the Adepti arts long enough. It's time for something new. Let's make Shenha a snow-covered kiss. It sounds like a perfect fit for her. Uh, uh, um, uh, what now? We're gonna, we're gonna what? We're gonna give her a what? A snow-covered kiss? Are we that far in our relationship already? I don't know if I'm ready for this. A snow-covered kiss. <laughs> Milk foam has been layered atop a foundation of fruit juice, guarding well the intense flavors beneath. All the better to pleasantly surprise you with. Hmm, interesting. Two juice, one milk. Yeah, Paimon chose it, by the way, so if this goes poorly, we all know why. Hmm. It's sweet and smooth. Not bitter at all. What is it? It's called a snow-covered kiss. Whisk milk until it frosts, then gently pour it over some juice. Yo! It looks like it's covered by a layer of snow. Wait, is Paimon, like, low-key paying attention? What the fuck? Don't ask why it's called a kiss, though. Paimon doesn't get it either. It's probably just a gimmick to get it to sell better. Uh, gimmick. G gimmick? Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, Paimon's just guessing. Maybe it's more of a romantic description. Description. Romantic. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, she doesn't understand any of these concepts. It's so crazy. Uh, it's hard to explain. Stop making Paimon come up with things. Jesus. All right, it's kind of like the snow on the mountain. Mm -hmm. That's right. The moment you taste the sweetness of the juice, like a spring pushing to the ice to give you a kiss. Oh. She's like, oh, okay, well, that's dumb. I see. I seem to understand now. She literally looks like she wants to murder that cup right now. Like she's holding back some like murderous intent right now. Like, look at her. She's just like looking down on it. Like. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Oh, man. But wait, why is Paimon the one who's confused now? Occasionally, I chew on divine herbs as I wander about in the mountains. I have witnessed the moment a new sprout breaks through the soil. Aww. The elation in my heart then does bear a resemblance to what I'm experiencing now. Thank you for helping me understand these obscure names. I might need your help again sometime in the future. Hey, I mean, it's the least we can do. You literally saved Lyra. Eula, you good? Yo, look at her. She's literally big napping right now. <laughs> Yo, she's had a she had a rough day, I'll tell you. Oh my god. I, I can only imagine that Eula's literally having a dream of like, vengeance will be mine, Cretan. I won't let you win. <laughs> like just having a battle of vengeance in her dreams. Alright, let's go. A small foamy reef, please. Oh. Thank you. Uh Eula? I... I'm fine. Was she drunk? Huh? There's something off about Eula. <gasps> oh, Was shit. Was she already drinking before she got here? Oh, my God. She pre-gamed before she came to the bar. <laughs> but Foamy Reef has coffee in it. Would it upset her stomach if she has coffee after liquor? What the fuck, yo? Eula's built different. What the fuck? For her tummy's sake, Water it down before serving it to her. Oh, okay, so she'll never notice. She'll never know. A small foamy reef. Okay, Eula, you, uh, yeah, maybe pre gaming wasn't the way to go for tonight. Ice, fizzy water, and coffee make this drink quite the punch. Bitter, novel, and just a little rebellious. Hey, vengeance will be hers after all. Okay, so two coffee for one water. All right, so we're gonna go two coffee, but three water. That's what we'll do. Eula's hangover <laughs> vengeance will be mine. <laughs> She's gonna take vengeance on her hangover tomorrow. <laughs> oh, this tastes pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, I love her, dude. Wow. She didn't even notice how oh, much again? water we added. She must have had a lot to drink. Damn. One more, bartender. Keep him coming! Uh, uh, oh, wait. <sighs> It's you guys? What do you mean, you guys? We haven't seen you in forever. Also, you only just noticed us now? <sighs> He's like, I, I've had a day, okay? Leave me alone. <sighs> Sorry. I just came here from the cat. And she's bar hopping. <clears throat> Perhaps I had a little too much to drink. Yo, classic white girl wasted. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah. 
It's pretty lonely to drink by yourself. You'll feel better if you talk to us. Damn, she's like, yo, can I get some free drinks? All right, I'm going to head to the other bar now. Uh, I suppose I always do drink alone. Where's Amber? Oh, I mean, I guess maybe Amber's not old enough to drink. I mean, maybe she doesn't drink. Maybe she's not old enough to drink. I don't know. As long as I'm in Mondstadt, I'll never be welcome at taverns. I was actually feeling good today and wanted a drink, but Damn. they still wouldn't get off my back. <sighs> Tell me, how did you manage to make so many friends? Uh, money. I paid for all of them to be my friend. <laughs> People always sound so appreciative and are always smiling when they talk about you. Aww. I'm your friend. Amber's your friend. Albedo's your friend. Bennett's your friend. Bro, we made snowmen together. You kidding me? But as for me, just mentioning my family name is enough to make everyone... A drunk mind speaks a sober heart. Most of the time she's putting up a front, vengeance will be mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like all that. But like right now, she's kind of vulnerable right now. She's actually kind of being honest with her feelings. You didn't choose to be born into the Lawrence clan. And we don't care about that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. But Eula, we know is a great person. Eula is awesome. I love her. But you don't like being straightforward. You always pretend to hold a grudge and you try to hide your tenderness away from everyone. That is true too. It's kind of like you're putting up this shell. It's a defense mechanism, sure, but that's the risk you run. You, you, you kind of keep everybody out. Hey, <laughs> who said I was pretending? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I will remember this day. <laughs> Others will accept you, Eula. Do you think so? <laughs> it's impossible to imagine. <laughs> Even when I'm this drunk. Jeez, at least she's aware of it. Even after being a knight of Favonius for all this time, people still... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing, dude. Just seeing her in this light makes her so much freaking cooler and like so much more relatable. Winds always change their course. Where is Venti, man? This is like his event, dude. Like a drinking event. You kidding me? Just be yourself, Eula, and keep moving forward. Oh my god. That's so wholesome, man. Keep moving forward. Always. Sooner or later, you'll change what people think about the Lawrence clan. Venti should have pulled a Eula. If there was no alcohol here, just get drunk somewhere else and then come here. <laughs> yes, just be patient. Okay. Thank you. Hey, all right. Now go get some sleep. <laughs> I... <clears throat> I, sh I should go now. All right, you're going to be okay? Like, you're going to call the freaking Outrider to come get you? Would you like me to walk you back? Mm, no need. I want to remember what you said. And I won't be able to think about anything else until I write everything down. Yeah, okay, so she's basically just going home to go to sleep. You sure is a lot more open after a few drinks. But it does feel like something's missing without her signature revenge line. <laughs> yeah, that actually is kind of true. That's the first thing I was expecting her to say or something like that at some point. Uh-oh. When she wakes up in the morning, do you think she'll come threatening us to forget what happened today? <laughs> <laughs> yep, actually, that'll probably be what happens. That's actually probably what's going to happen. Oh, my God. This is so good. Wait, are we done? We're not done. We're not done, dude. Hold up. Do you need a hand with anything? Oh, we're done already? Wait, I'd like to take part in the bartender challenge. I'd like to come up with a new mix. Okay, hold on. Looks like you're ready. In that case, let's begin. Oh, okay, so these are challenges. Okay, I guess we're done talking to people. Man, Venti, I'm pissed. You really just didn't want to talk about Conria that much that you just decided not to show up for free drinks. Really, bro? Really? This is only going to make me want to ask you more when I see you again. Damn. 10 out of 10 would drink again. <laughs> Some customers eager to try the Angel Share's popular brews have arrived at the tavern. Oh, so we get to score drinks. All right, so we're going to make all the recipes first. Apparently, I need to do that before I can take on these challenges. 
that is everything. We got the name card. Good shit. Celebration. Binge vessel. There's a great many stories here, but no alcohol, so it's safe for Paimon to drink. Nice, nice, nice. I'm actually going to equip that real quick. Another name card to add to the list. We have over 100 name cards, by the way. And uh, yeah, we added another one to the list and a really awesome one, too, for this event. Okay, so now we're going to do charles's challenges now that we have everything maxed out all right so there's four tiers of challenges here so if we get 500 points for each one i'm assuming we get all of the rewards here so let's try our best medium sized okay let's see all right so coffee 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 down 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 medium cup come on aether you're you're wasting precious time all right we're good next gray sunset extra strong we're going max out on juice damn dude they're really adding in the animations to this too this shit's annoying we're speed runners okay here we go keep moving keep moving next up snow covered kiss large extra milk yeah two juice three milk all right down down up up okay and they want it large too good you're good moving on extra strong large misty garden okay so three t large nice another one large athenium extra strong coffee 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 extra extra down left left and we're gonna have that as a large as well dude i've never worked at like a dunkin donuts or like a honeydew or like a starbucks or anything but this i can only imagine that this is literally the daily life of somebody experiencing this in genshin and having like trauma medium frothy reef two coffee one water and we want that medium down left up keep it going i think i can get one more misty garden yeah so t t t up left down this is pretty reachable i think i can do this for all of these and get more than enough points that i need all right let's see one snow covered kiss okay you know we're done here 700 points i only needed 500 we're gamers let's go good shit the pinnacle of etiquette first class service and the perfect bartender all right let's do all of these then medium bright crown tea milk milk so I, I need to just make five orders right all right one down birch sap two juice one lemon large all right down left down left all right i really like this coffee milk caramel extra sweet left left up 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 okay medium oh my god literally the same one extra milk extra sweet oh my god i literally just made that one I think this is it. I'm a little cocky. I didn't look at the ingredients again, but I hope that that's what this one is. Large as well. Let's see. Is that it? Let's go. Love poem. Small, please. Tea, milk, caramel, small. There you go. Okay, they both have birch sap, so at least I know that much. Juice, juice, lemon. Extra sour. Okay, we'll do that. Up, down, up, down. juice juice lemon my sweet spot is definitely seven orders i can tackle seven orders per your training at mcdonald's is paying off actual facts dude i work really well under pressure when it comes to like a, a restaurant or service like food service or drink service setting i'm definitely getting vibes of that like that's why i'm like super i'm like okay this 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 i'm like trying to remember like the order and everything from the jump just so i can just keep it going so i i'm no stranger to that environment all right, let's see. Foamy Reef. Okay, two coffee, one extra fizz. And she wants that large. All right. There we go. All right. Medium Boreal. Tea, milk, mint, extra minty. So do I only need to put one extra mint for it to be considered extra? Like, I don't need to add that second one, right? I feel like that extra one, like the animation of just the extra one is just so much more time. Like we're literally trying to speed run at this point. So that just, that's just crucial time I'm wasting. Love poem? Yeah, okay, love poem. Tea, milk, caramel, a bit more milk. Okay, and she wants that small. See, the thing that I like about this, because I have to wait for the animation. Oh, that was small, okay. While I'm putting in like, the three drinks like the three flavors back to back to back as the animation is going i get to double look and see like what size it is or if she wanted any extras night of swirling stars okay milk yeah coffee milk milk extra milk and that's a medium boreal watch tea milk mint extra milk and she wants that small all right 
All right, next up, stroke of night. Oh, stroke of night's easy. Coffee, tea, milk. That one's literally so fucking easy. Medium. That's literally like the only one I can memorize. Oh my god, I caught that on the first, on the first one. Love poem, extra caramel and milk. Tea, milk, milk, caramel, caramel. All right. Oh my god, I keep getting a lot of love poems today. Yeah, I think 700's definitely my sweet spot. One more challenge and it's all wrapped up. Bartender, Paimon's feeling neither too good nor too bad today. Could Paimon have something that is neither too thick nor too light? No such drink here. Hey, bartender, can't be that cold. Well, you aren't a customer, Paimon. Damn. What? Can I get a juice to get my stomach going on the sour side? Oh, shit. Wow, so they're not even... Okay, so birch sap. They're giving me descriptions now and I have to figure out what drink it goes with. That's interesting. Medium. Okay. I think this is it. Okay, good. Medium sized Barbados boon, extra fizz. So tea, water, water, mint. Medium. Wait, wait, what? Wait, did I fuck that up? Oh, that's juice. Oh, I'm so mad. I mixed up juice for tea. I'm so pissed. Okay. Yeah, I looked at that at a glance. I messed that up. That's okay. I think the most we can get still is 600. Juice with m with milk foam on top. Okay, so you want a snow-covered kiss. So that's uh, juice, juice, milk. Left. Oh, left, left, up, left. Realistically, I only need five drinks or, or five orders. Medium. Okay, good. Anything suited for afternoon tea? Gotta like it. Medium with extra milk. Okay, so almost all of these have milk. Oh, Scholar's Afternoon. I'm an idiot. Okay. There we go. Extra milk. <laughs> it was gonna click sooner or later, all right? Medium. Okay. All right, Barbados Boon. I don't want to fuck this up again. This is uh, Juice Water Mint. Juice Water Mint. Medium. And that's going in a medium glass. Whoa. Oh, with a more refreshing. I'm so pissed. I'm so mad. More refreshing. Oh, so he wanted extra mint. Okay. I wonder if I'm going to have time. Juice, water, mint, mint. All right. Juice, water, mint, mint. I have 30 seconds to get this. Actually, I have 16 seconds to get this. This guy is literally about to spit this drink in my face. Oh my god, nine seconds. Oh, give me this fucking cup. Come on. Okay, we made it. We fucking made it. I don't give a fuck about anything else. I reached the threshold for him with like two seconds left. And there's 10 seconds left for the fucking, this whole bartending session. Yo, we just finessed on these people. I'm sorry, sir. You're not getting your drink. Actually, this event's over before you leave, so get fucked. Easy clap, boys. So I guess we got to redeem all of our stuff. Everything is officially done. Good stuff, man. This was really fun. And that's how you do it. We are officially licensed bartenders in the land of Mondstadt. Ooh, Tavern Tales. Oh, this is so cute. The little chibi, little chibi sticker drawings. Oh, that's right. I get my furnishing. Tavern Shaker. Grumus Oscillation. Yo, Liquor of Truth. <laughs> Story Review. Oh, they, oh, these are going to be limited. I hope people archive these to youtube i mean you could just see the cutscene as well but oh this is so awesome tavern tales i really like this what a great little event this was such a cool thing to do man i really wish mihoyo would let us go into the cat's tail bar that way we can do the equivalent but there with alcoholic beverages but maybe they're trying to keep the game you know pg or whatever or you know just you know they don't want to be like oh we don't want to promote alcohol to children in our virtual video game so i guess that's why it's better off that it's here because d luke doesn't like alcohol and he serves non-alcoholic beverages because of it but yeah this was really really cool i really like 
liked this. This was a very different approach to content that we've done before. I really like a lot of the game events that don't focus on combat. I know I'm very much already in the minority when it comes to content that I'm interested in in this game. And it's not to say that I can't beat combat content in the game. I can. It's just that's not really what I gravitate towards for content for my stream and for my channel and for my viewers. But I love the events that don't focus on combat i love talking to characters i love getting like little interesting character moments especially since we haven't seen majority of these characters in a really long time shenha despite the fact that it was a while ago we haven't seen her since the archon quest interlude that's kind of the only time we've had her in the story so even her being a relatively newer character, it's been a decent amount of time since her, her presence has been felt in the game. And then you got all these Mondstadt characters, D Luke hearing his voice and talking to him for the first time in God knows how long. I mean, Eula thankfully had the Dragon Spine event, but her, you know, involvement or her presence really hasn't been felt. And I think we really need Ludi Harpastum to kind of bring all of these newer Mondstadt characters to the forefront so that way they do feel a bit more involved. I would say every new Mondstadt that character that has come out since Windbloom, with the exception of Albedo and maybe Amber, like any characters that were featured in the Dragon Spine events, like Sucrose and stuff like that, they've definitely had more time to shine than the average character. But I just really, really liked this event. I thought it was super cool. I was not expect. I, I literally thought the extent of it was just going to be make these drinks, do these challenges, get the name card. Okay, we'll see you next week for whatever else we have in store but yeah i this was actually really cool and like the best part too is i wasn't expecting characters from liyue i was literally expecting only monstat characters zhongli given dropping his lore dropping his knowledge on t was classic zhongli interaction seeing the girlfriends go at it you know what i mean like bickering back and forth like a couple typically do you know dilu talking about his dad was nice these two are like a match made in heaven they're like bona fide drinking buddies gene relaxing on her birthday of the time that we actually recorded this was awesome too this was great this was awesome i feel like people if you enjoy certain characters whether they're your favorite or you like certain characters interacting with each other like beto ningwong or lisa jean this was awesome this was a really cool idea and i hope they do more stuff like this i would love to do the same thing but in one mean restaurant like cooking my ass off in shangling's restaurant with guoba running around distracting me every two seconds and just you know what i mean instead of a drink a dream and it's a, a food a eaten <laughs> I don't know. I just really like stuff like this, and I hope they do it again in the future. This was cozy. This was chill. This was laid back. There was no, like, intensity to it. It was kind of go at your own pace. It got a little challenging with having to, like, speed run some of this stuff towards the end with those other challenges. And I liked the rewards. We got a new name card. We got a new furnishing to commemorate the event. We got to see some familiar characters and everything else in between. And this is the last kind of major event for this patch before 2.6 so at this point i'm basically just going to be covering some backlog things that i've been meaning to get out of the way and focus on for a while we're going to be reading some character lore we have some character hangouts that i want to be able to tackle and get out of the way before 2.6 rolls around but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this this was really really fun i had a blast i hope you guys have all been able to take part in it as well but overall this was great i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one